This is a little example that just really serves to show uh, how the structure of the Chilton Colburn J factors for heat and mass transfer uh, gives you uh, heat transfer coefficients and mass transfer coefficients in dimensionless form, that is in terms of uh, Sherwood numbers and Nussel numbers, uh, that really uh, come out to be the same. Okay, so uh, I think it's um, you know, it's just an easy example to go through and see how the structure of the Chilton Colburn uh, J factors does that. All right, so uh, we're going to start with a uh, mass transfer coefficient in, or sorry, a heat transfer coefficient in dimensionless form. That is a Nussel number in terms of a Reynolds number and a Prandtl number. Uh, so the Prandtl number is to the power one third here. Uh, that's going to be a key part of this analysis. And uh, Dittus and Bolter uh, found this particular uh, correlation in looking at uh, heat transfer for turbulent flow in a pipe. Okay, so this is the, the diameter of the pipe. <coughs> there is a uh, thermal conductivity uh, of the gas. And, uh, and so this is the uh, Nusselt number that you have. There are heat transfer coefficient times that diameter over that thermal conductivity of the gas. And, and so our task is to find an expression for the mass transfer coefficient in a similar pipe with similarly turbulent flow. Okay, so we have uh, our chilton colburn analogy says the J factors for these two processes should be equal. Uh, whatever those J factors are, uh, they should be a relationship then between H over heat capacity times velocity times this Prandtl number to the two-thirds and uh, the uh, mass transfer coefficient over, uh, over velocity times the Schmidt number to the two-thirds. Okay, so what we're going to do first is use the chilton colburn analogy to solve for the heat transfer coefficient. Okay, so that's going to uh, be a ratio of the Schmidt and Prandtl numbers to the two-thirds. Uh, our heat capacity gets moved over here, and we've got our, our mass transfer coefficient, which I'm calling Kc here, just to distinguish it from a thermal conductivity. Uh, okay, so now we're going to substitute that into this didison bolter uh, correlation. Okay, so the Nusselt number in didison bolter uh, can, of course, be uh, written in, in uh, this form, right? So it's D over K times a heat transfer coefficient. Now, the heat transfer coefficient, we already know, is equal to this big mess. And so we put this big mess into uh, the expression. And, and here is what the Nusselt number is equal to in terms of uh, the Reynolds number and the Prandtl number that, that Dittus and Bolter found in the correlation. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, multiply by 1 here, which is just to insert uh, the diffusivity uh, into the numerator and the denominator of this expression. Okay, so, uh, so now by doing this, uh, we have grouped the, the diameter, the Kc, divided by the diffusivity, recognize that that is a Sherwood number, and what's left over then is the diffusivity over the uh, thermal conductivity, not the mass transfer coefficient, times the heat capacity and the ratio of Schmidt and Prandtl. Okay, and the right-hand side, we haven't done anything to that. Uh, so we can take that Sherwood number, uh, we can um, recognize that this uh, product that was left over after regrouping those terms in this guy, uh, and, and again, we, we multiply and divide by uh, the viscosity, and that gives us a, uh, another ratio with the Prandtl number divided by the Schmidt number, is all this stuff that I've circled here in red. Okay, so now we've got Sherwood, Prandtl over Schmidt, Schmidt over Prandtl to the two-thirds. Simplifying those gives Sherwood times Prandtl over Schmidt to the one-third. And that should all be equal, according to Dittus and Bolter, 0 0.023 Reynolds to the power 0.8, Prandtl to the power one-third. Okay, so the last thing remaining here is to go through and solve for the Sherwood number. Uh, so that leaves us with the Sherwood number is 0 0.023 Reynolds to the 0.8, Schmidt to the one-third. Okay, so notice what happened is that the Chilton and Colburn analogy converted a correlation that initially looked like this. I have Nusselt and Prandtl to the one-third, and all that ended up happening uh, was that I ended up with a Sherwood and a Schmidt to the one-third. Okay, so um, so this is really, uh, you know, giving you um, a, a device for going through and, and uh, using these analogies between Sherwood numbers, Nusselt numbers, Schmidt numbers, and Prandtl numbers, and uh, that's basically this dimensionless form of these analogies between heat and mass transfer, all wrapped up in this Dittus and Bolter uh, correlation. So let's see how well this actually works. 
Um, separate experiments have been done by Linton and Sherwood looking at mass transfer in, in pipes, this exact situation. And what they found in their experiments was that the Sherwood number is 0 0.023, Reynolds to the 0.83, Schmidt to the one third. Okay, so not bad. This is the, uh, you know, sort of the, the, the difference here is that one of them has a Reynolds to the 0.8, one of them has Reynolds to the 0.83. Otherwise, uh, heat transfer and mass transfer are behaving exactly the same in these systems. So, um, so that's basically uh, a little short example showing how you can use uh, these correlations to interconvert to different correlations.